a stamper skein again um i'm halfway through a project so i'm going to finish it off with you i was looking on the internet today i'm doing a craft fair tomorrow and i wanted a little desk tidy because i'm going to be using my glue my uh, bone folder piercing mat so i looked around for a little desk tidy and a lovely young lady on youtube called angelina uh, made a beautiful one so I have copied it's not my design but it's absolutely stunning and I've done two of the set boxes with the window um, box frame to cut out the hexagons and uh, you need one for the outside and one for the inside just makes them really sturdy and I've used the um, ooh, birthday blossom design series paper I think it is and it looks beautiful against the white and navy. Um, and they're going to be fetching this out in the new catalogue. Um, look, see, you stick them together. And my other box is six inches tall. This is four, this is two and a half. Uh, it's actually two by the time all the measurements are cut. But they just go together and the big one's going to slot behind there. And you can add your Tombow and scissors and piercing tools my pens the next one probably pick my scissors and i want this on the desk tomorrow while i'm doing my craft fair so i'll give you the measurements at the end because there's a lot of them um i'll run through them quickly but uh, i'm just going to make the tallest one with you now but how sweet are they they're just absolutely adorable so I'm going to fetch you my scoreboard and on the long side, they all are 11 and 3 quarters in length, the boxes. One's at 2 inches, it's 2 inches tall but it's 2 and a half when you cut it by 11 and 3 quarters. Um, yeah, 2 and a half, 4 and this one is 6 which it turns out to be about 5 and a half. Use the big one with cardstock and you're going to score at half inch just down this one side. All the way down to the bottom. Then we're going to turn it on the long side. And we are going to score now at one and seven eighths. Uh, three and three quarters. Five and five eighths. Seven and a half, nine and three, uh, three eighths, and eleven and a quarter, and all the measurements and all the scoring are all the same for all for all three pieces. But you can make them as tall as you want, as long as you score half inch on the short side. All the measurements then on the long side. But you can have these boxes as tall or short as you want. You could put, you could have them all the same size. But well, I like the arrangement of the small, medium and large. So that's our scoring out the way. I'm going to pop my box back in there. Pop down the <coughs> design of this. I'm going to rudely fold each one of these just, at the, just for a second. And at the bottom. Well, this is it. What it comes together so quick, and then you think it by the looks of it, it's, it's really tricky, but it's not. I'm going to snip up the set corner and take an angle off the side as well, so it's like that. And then we're going to cut a little snip off of that side, it just makes the box fold a lot neater. I'm going to do the same on all, but this young lady is marvelous, and she said to just turn over the corner and cut up to the corner and do it again on each score line right the way to the very end look at that. simple saves you cutting up both ends twice tricks of the trade when you do not pick um, them up and I think this is our last one Yeah, and I'm just going to flag the end on this one as well. 
grab my little bit. How simple is that? And there's our box. Believe it or not. I um we're gonna put fast fuse down this side. Where is it? There it is. I'm gonna do it twice. I don't want this coming apart on me at all. Fold that over and just fetch this end up. Well, I'm just gonna seam to seam. Whoops, it's sticking to my finger instead of the box. <laughs> And then I can push that down. I'm going to burnish that line as well. And it's level. And now I can burnish all my score lines now. Oh, I could have put the panels on the side as well. But I can do that now, even though. stinking cute. Our hexagons will go on there and I'll show you that in a minute because I've got one more to cut out and I've been a naughty girl and I've lifted up the but that's the shape. It's so simple. Um, what I found as well I pop the one on the inside it fits perfect. It's just to reinforce and stable it. And I'm going to turn this over now. I don't know why I've just done that because it's just fell out. Um, I'm going to cut another one first in front of you and I'll show you why. We need six because we're making three parts. Uh, this is the window box framelet. And we just need the hexagon. So I have already cut, like I'm saying, I've already cut five out and I just need one more. But what an ingenious little thing. And that's absolutely stunning. I need to move my cards to cut. I don't want to. The joys of sharing on YouTube and Pinterest is fabulous. But thank you, hi, Angelina. I don't know your second name, sweetheart. But thank you. You saved my baker, as they say. <laughs> and that's what you get. You get these little flaps, because when you're making your actual window box out of these, these are your flaps, which I'm going to cut off, because I only need the hexagon shape. I'm going to cut along the score line. You can see the said score I'm sorry the paper is dark, but I just love white and navy together. We are fetching the DSP out in uh, all the new colours as well. So this paper is not only going to be available in navy and white, it's going to be in reds and pinks and greens. Absolutely beautiful paper. And I think there's about 40 sheets two in each colour. I'm going to pop this down to one side at the moment. I know I shouldn't be lifted, ladies, and you'll probably tell me off tomorrow. But I needed the exercise. <laughs> oh, you're going to need four panels for the side of this box. Two panels you don't cover because they're going to be glued together. And these are I've actually got one here I'm going to glue with you. This one is five and a quarter by one and five eighths, and this is five and an eighth by one and a half. So I'll glue them down now with you. Nice little board all the way around. And 
here's our full panel. I've got other panels here off the other ones, but I will show you where they go in a moment when all the boxes are together. So now, I'm going to fetch in. Uh, this, where the seam is, I'm going to call that the back bit. So I'm not going to add panels there. I'm going to add them to these beautiful sides here. The four sides that haven't. And I'm using Tombow. Bit much on there. And again, I'm just going to... We've got wiggle room with Tombow, see? Just hold that in place for a couple of seconds. And that's it. Simple. So I'm going to turn all these over. And I'm going to glue them all. But I didn't, I, looking at the boxes, I didn't think I'd be able to do it. Because I'm not a boxy person, but it's so simple and so elegant. And I think Angelina made hers for her mother, for Mother's Day. But what a beautiful, beautiful idea. And like I say, I needed a desk tidy. I didn't want to take all my plastic boxes tomorrow. I just want to take certain things. So this is perfect for me. And I will use it after I get back as well because my desk can get a wee bit messy and tidy look at how beautiful that looks and because my design series paper runs in all directions it doesn't matter which way I put this on how gorgeous is that I'm loving it Blip, 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 blip. Right, I'm going to push all the sides down. I'm going to actually fold them and crease them a bit more so they don't flick up in my face. Right, there it goes. And I'm going to add tumble. It takes a little bit of time, but you've got plenty of wiggle room. And I'm going to line this up. With that edge. And, there. and I'm going to just pop them in and squeeze them into the shape. And just hold that there for a minute. Just hold that down just for a few minutes now while it's adheres. Absolutely stunning little box. And I, you, you can use the same colour as your card, white, but like I said, yeah. oh look, this is taking a little bit longer than I thought. But white and navy, just love them. White, you cannot go wrong with white and navy. So I'm just going to leave that for a minute too. My grandkids are here tonight, and oh, bless it. My grandson uh, was playing on his Kindle. He's now decided to start shouting nanny. <laughs> bless him. For some reason, this side isn't just not going down, so I'm going to add a bit more tumble if I can. There we go, that's better. That you can use these for all sorts of things. You don't have to be a desk tidy. Um, I think Angelina suggested putting cotton wool and cleansers and cotton buds and little nail varnishes and emery boards, you know, to keep on a, a dressing table. Again, set dressing table uh, tidy. I'm going to turn this over now because I think that's okay. The only thing is, I've got to try and squeeze my tumble down that side. So I'm going to do it on here. I'm going to add a line of tumble all the way around. I'll 
the lid back on just for a second. I'm gonna dry it, I'm drying out. And we're gonna pop this inside. Do apologize, you can see the head. Whoops, I don't need to fold that way. I want to fold the other way, please. That's it. That's it. Now it's done. And I can push that down. And it just helps to reinforce the inside of the box as well. Not perfect, but... Now I've got sticky fingers. <laughs> yeah, I wrote the young lady's name down, but Angelina. Thank you, Angelina. Let's go over. So that's our third box. Absolutely, absolutely gorgeous. Now I think my base, yay. And now here's our three boxes. One, two... Whoops, one, two, and three. And believe it or not, with the leftover little bits of designer series paper and card here, that one is going to go there. That one is going to go there. And this one is going to go there. Oh, I'm going to attach them now quickly because I know where they're going now, so... Perfect. Right, let me put these together again. This one is going here. Going there. Whoops, I forgot that. That's right, that's better. There, and this one's going here. So this one is going here. On this side. And then we're going to glue all our boxes together. Oh, that is so sweet. So now I'm going to glue that to there. That to there. And we're done. Oh, look how cute they are. Oh, I'm loving it. Absolutely loving it. So I'm going to add glue one at a time. I'm going to add glue now to this, the two sides on this one because we're going to attach the two. And I think if I can do this, any of you out there can too. Because like I say, I'm not a box type person. But look how cute that is already. Look at that. I'm going to press this side in here. Oh, that's absolutely stunning. Thank you, Angelina. You are now my superstar YouTube fan. And I think you're wonderful. Thank you very much for that. Um, let's see what we can get in here now. Well, I have got my tweezers. I can stick them over the side. I have a chalk pen. My wink of Stella's. I love these. Gold, clear and white. I have a pencil. My white gel pen. That's my old one. That's my new one. I have my aqua painter. 
I have my small snips from Stampin' Up. Look at this. I've even got... I wonder if I can get them in my bed now. I'm going to put my dimensions in there. My bone folder. My piercing tool. My pen. I always take a pen everywhere. My Tombow. What else have I got? My glue dot. They all can slide in there too. My fast fuse. And oh my god, I'm loving this box. My dye brush. My large scissors. I just hope this. Hey, look at that, and it holds together. <laughs> it's fabulous. So I can take this with me tomorrow, safe in the knowledge that I have all the little bits I want. I think it won't hold. It's my AT chicken. <laughs> but how fabulous is that? I'm just going to... Oh, look. I've got my Fast Fuse refill. In case it runs out while I'm there tomorrow. My embossing buddy. That can go in there. What else have we got? I'm gonna put I'm gonna put my larges. I have some round stones. More round stones, larger. More round stones. Because you can never have too many. I've got mini pills. I have some larger pills. <laughs> Black enamel dots. I have coloured enamel dots. <laughs> And this is all going in one place. How amazing balls is that? And look how, look, it's all in there. And I've got space for loads more. And I suppose if I wasn't picking it up and down all day long, I could get more in. Once I come home now, I'm going to stick more in. And that's going to sit on the edge of my desk. How cute is that? Well, I'm done. This box is done and it looks absolutely stunning. Oh, look at this. My gel pens fit in each corner. Fabulous. And my biro fits in there too. <gasps> I'm loving it. Thank you so much for sharing. And I'm glad I made this in front of you. I would have liked to have done it all. Oh, let me give you the measurements quickly. The large is 6 by 11 and 3 quarters, medium is 4 by 11 and 3 quarters, small 2 by 11 and 3 quarters. You score all three on the short side at half inch, and then on the long side you score all three at 1 and 7 eighths, 3 and 3 quarters, 5 and 5 eighths, 7 and a half, 9 and 3 eighths, and 11 and a quarter. You then cut six hexagonal shapes uh, for the base cards, one for outside, one for in, and the card stock. I've used Knight of Navy. You have one at one and a quarter by one and five eighths, four pieces at five and a quarter by one and five eighths, and five pieces at three and a quarter and by one and five eighths, and five pieces at one and three quarters by one and five eighths. For the designer series paper, then you have one at one eighth, one and one eighth by one and a half. They're all one and a half. Four at five and an eighth by one and a half. Five at three and an eighth by one and a half and five at one and five eighths and one and a half. I will put them on my blog so you can, uh, and the pictures of this beautiful little organizer. And thanks again, like I say, Angelina, you're a superstar for sharing. And I'm glad I cased your item today. But a thumbs up, a share, and a subscribe if you enjoyed. And until next time, I'll see you soon. Bye.